Hi guys, welcome to episode two. So uh, the question is, do we invest in ourselves enough? Uh, and yeah, that's quite a deep question, don't you think guys? Yeah. Mm -mm. I think mm. I would like to invest in myself more than what I do and I invest in myself <laughs> quite a bit, but <laughs> I wish I had the time and the freedom mm. to do more. What would that look like to you? Money, more money. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, straight yeah. up. Cash. The, yeah. I, I need a really huge cash flow to be yeah. able yeah. to do yeah. all the things yeah. I want to do. Yeah. Expensive yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah, straight yeah. up, yeah. yeah. I want to go on nice spa. I mean, we're just talking about like superficial stuff, right? Yeah. I want to go on nice spa breaks. I want to go on holidays. I want to go to Bora Bora and Bali and all those places, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Invest in myself emotionally, spiritually, through therapy. Mm. I want more money to be able to do those things. Yeah. Mm. Straight up. So how, would, right how do you invest in yourself now? I go to therapy. Mm. That's my biggest, my, the biggest investment in myself right now is therapy. Mm. That's something I want to do personally. I have been looking at therapists um, just because I know that there's probably a lot of trauma from childhood Time. that yeah. needs to come out. And yeah, I guess it affects yeah. You're not ready relationships for it, basically. I have. So I just know that that's something that would probably be a big investment. But yeah, as soon as I you know, heard that Layla was doing therapy, I was just like, yeah, yeah, I definitely need to do mm. that. See, during lockdown for me, I invested in myself so much, so, so much. I was like working out, therapy, spending time on myself. Now, working nine to five. Uh, full-time mum. Full-time mum. The only time that I invest my, in myself is literally five o'clock in the morning, 5.30 in the morning when I'm getting ready, mm. putting my makeup on, getting dressed. And that's the only time I Do feel you know like what? that's me, me time. I was time. reading a post saying that, um, like just basic things like just even washing yourself or whatever that's not actually self it's not it's and, not I, and I, do you know what yeah i will firmly tell everyone washing taking yourself. a bubble bath no, is but not like having a bath like oh, it's, okay. yeah. it's not it's not self-care that's basic hygiene that's basic. go have a bubble bath no, no, yeah, yeah, it's 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 how do you feel when you're having that that candle lit bath peaceful no kids running around no mess no Ducks in the bath or whatever. Yeah, that, that to is me is just belief. That is self. With, with, with what a little, it means little to you. Mm. The hand, like I think it's gonna look different to every to every person. To me, it's hard. like I, lighting a candle, bubble baths. Like, they're just basic things I do around the house. Like I don't. That's what I do. I've got but candles then that's, and everything. That's the like, <laughs> yeah. like, that, that, uh, Okay. So the reason why, for me personally, I don't see that as self care is because. That what I consider as self care maybe just isn't what someone else would consider as self care. Correct, mm -hmm. correct. Yeah, yeah. it's all subjective. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. So yeah. having a bath yeah. is like, well, I need to bathe my skin. So how is that? How is that? That's just basic hygiene. <laughs> 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 like, like the, the candle oils <laughs> and everything. Candles. Candles. Do you know yes. what? For me, this I think this year, let alone my, I invested more um, self care, but being social. Because yeah. I'm going out a lot more and I think I needed to do that for myself because it took me a long time to get out of this mum guilt and oh, you know, I could be doing this and I, you know, I was kind of focused a lot more on work saying, oh, if I go out then such and such and then I'll be behind on this. I've been more involved socially yeah. this year and I feel a lot more happier. Yeah. No. I see last that, yeah. year because no. it's like I've I don't know it's like I've gone back to me like yeah. the real that's me self -care. Yeah. Yeah. That's, self -care. Yeah. that's that's what I was gonna say that's self-care so yeah. for me it's when my self-care happens when I'm not a mum yeah I can't self-care when I'm in mm. mum mode I think because yeah. it's not possible you don't put yourself first when yeah. you're around your kids it's just your that's mum interesting. yeah that yeah. Is, see, I, just, I don't think that I don't, I don't see uh, um, going out with your friends as self-care I think I, it's more about like the, the time investment in yourself. Mm. So any time you choose to spend away from work or motherhood or family life mm. in general, to me that's like invested in myself because it's time just for me. Okay, then that I would say then from my perspective, I probably do invest in myself and energy because <clears throat> stuff like that would get to me emotionally, like whether it's angry, upset, I try to let it go quicker 
than I used to into the, instead of holding things. So would that mean I'm investing in myself? From yeah, because, well, I mean, like you're, you're, you're working my... on your emotional well-being. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I don't see why yeah. that's not. No. It's not like you actively. Yeah. Work. Yeah. Or is it just something that's yeah. just changed. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I've actively okay, worked yeah. on so that. You're investing in yourself. Yeah. 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 Well, I, but I didn't think of it like think that. Think of it like that. Yeah. No, no. Mm. I thought it's more like, you know, self-care and yeah. pampering. Well, it can and be fine. Because you've got that self-awareness yeah. to be yeah. able to address those issues. That's then a form of self-care. Yeah. Yeah. So it's having so that. Can, yeah. yeah. Girl. <laughs> yeah, I invest in myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, honey. But, no. but yeah, there is different types of um, investments. So what is this? Uh, financially? Mm -hmm. um, Spiritually, spiritually, spiritually emotionally, 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 mentally, 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 mentally physically, I would, physically yeah. as well. Yeah, physically yeah. As well. I would say that, when it comes to physical, no, no that's no. not, <laughs> not for me. No, no, no. Sorry, I will not be down the gym. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you're gonna have to accept me with the extras. That's fine. <laughs> like we're True. just gonna have to do that. However, I think my investment kind of changes. So mm. self care, like when I literally have like burnout from work, and mm. just need to sign off. So that might be me and Jane might go out mm. on the town, yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or it could just be a spa day or something mm. like that. Mm. Um, yeah. And then on the other flip side, it might just be I invest in my work. Mm. So like projects, mm. um, I'd put you know put my own money up for things. Um, and I feel like that kind of just helps me yeah. kind yeah, of build. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that completely. Mm -hmm. I'm um, really struggling with self-care at the moment at the stage of life where I'm, I'm like building myself again. Mm. Um, so again, with my business, I still work my nine to five and mum, mm. um, I'm really struggling. Like I used, to, I used to be in the gym like every other evening. I used to eat really healthy. I used to take my baths, um, my nails, my feet, my hair done. That used to be like, Regular. I always used to, yeah. that used to be on point. Yeah. And now yeah. I'm just really struggling. <laughs> and I just feel like, like there's just not enough time. Yeah. 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 It's just not enough time. And if I slack off um, of one thing, I just feel like it sets me back like mm. yeah. a week. Yeah. And yeah. then when you put, I put that pressure on myself because I have these goals that I'm trying to accomplish. Yeah. I just feel like self, like to me, Although I'm invested in my business and stuff yeah. and everything else, the, the self-care bit I'm re like right now, I'm just literally like lowest of the low. Oh. <laughs> it, it's lowest of the low, but yeah, it's just, I just feel, I've accepted that at the stage where I'm at in my life right now, mm. I just have to just get on with it. I and, think that's and so and powerful grind, though, grind accepting, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, otherwise there's so many times I've like called my girlfriend and I'm just literally crying. Like, I don't know what else I, I, I can do, like, yeah. but again, it's, it's, I just have to accept but You know that. when they say like something's yeah. got to give, I yeah. think like Let's sometimes when you're investing week. in one thing, yeah. the other thing you Come, don't have yeah. as much time yeah. for. So yeah. it's like, yeah, literally it's always like that. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like me, if I take time, yeah. and sometimes it's fun, like yeah. doing things with the kids, but then yeah. sometimes yeah. work, I don't get yeah. work done yeah. Yeah. or I don't have enough time for myself. So it's yeah. like, just understanding that yeah. there's times where you can be focused more on one thing and able to give energy to more to one thing. I don't think there's ever this like, balance where everything, well, maybe. I, I've just not experienced it. I mean, I don't know anybody yeah. like that. No. I don't think balance exists. I, I think don't. it's yeah. like more like a Ferris wheel. Yeah. So yeah. you've got all these different aspects of your life and then the wheel just spins. And yeah. one day you're in one carriage, the next day Do the wheel spins you and you're in a different carriage. I don't think that, yeah, I, I think that whole having a balanced life is a myth. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's, it's a complete myth. It's yeah. 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 juggling yeah. all the yeah. time. I mean, I had to pause my business just because of that. Yeah. My, I, it, it got so difficult because even though I would love to spend all the time in the world on just my, um, my own business, yeah. that balance work of that nine to five, even though it was at home and then Leo's at home as well, mm. it kind of toppled on mm. me and I was yeah. just like, rah, <laughs> I have to pause. No, but I had to make that decision yeah. and it was hard. I've got to pause this until I get to a better uh, position within myself and my organisation and everything yeah. before I can carry on and continue. Okay. Mm. Let's do this yeah. because it's either one or the other. You can't, I don't know, I just feel like you can't just burn yourself no, out. No, yeah. you can't. And I recently had a really depressive episode for about two weeks. I just, I couldn't get out of bed. It was just awful. My, just mentally, I was just not there at all. And I know that it had a lot to do with the work that I do, mm, yeah. um, a lot to do with the fact that I am a single parent. I am spinning all the plates at once. Yeah. Plus I've got my own trauma as well that I'm working through in therapy. and. And that particular period, the, leads, the, the weeks leading up to that episode, 
it, I wasn't taking care of myself. Mm. Mm. There was no investment, mm. nothing. Mm. It was just one Thursday morning, I woke up and it was like, boom. Mm -hmm. mm. That was it. For two weeks, okay. I was just out for the count. There was just nothing. I couldn't function. Mm. And, and that's we, because I stopped investing in, in, your, in yeah. the things that made me feel mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Mm. And what I was doing during that time was that I was allowing so much things to affect me mm -hmm. that probably normally wouldn't. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That normally wouldn't. Or maybe like I realised I was people pleasing a lot. I was mm. saying yes to things that I wouldn't mm. normally say yes to. Stretching myself out yes. all the That's time, right. trying yes. to get everything done. Yes. Comparing myself to other people thinking, yeah, but I have not reached this point in my life mm. and I'm not like this person, I'm not like this person. And it just finished me. How did you get yourself out of that after two weeks? It just, the thing with depression is it just, like, there's no time limit on it. Mm. You never know. The, the difference this time round is that I was open about it mm. and I spoke to my friends um, and to my girlfriend and I was really open. I said, like, I'm not okay. Mm. I'm really not okay. Mm. Like, the days mm. when you wake up and you're like, I don't want to get out of bed today. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do life. I don't want to function. Yeah, I don't want to do yeah, any of that. Yeah. When I got to that point, I just I had to tell my friends because I was like, I need the help. Mm. That's for the first time in my and life. I've okay. built that's a support okay. network yeah. for myself yeah. and I realised that how much I've invested in the people that really mm. do love me mm. for me. Like there's no conditions attached to these relationships. <laughs> They're just there when I need them and they, they give me the support that I need. And I've never had that before in my life. And I think that this time It's around, amazing that you're able to do that. Through. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you know, I feel like, you know, when you're in, in that mode, it's so hard to yeah. speak out and say that you're going through something, whether it's depression or having like bad times. A lot of the time I put on a front mm. all the time mm. with family yeah. and friends and they have no idea mm. how I'm feeling. And then when they see that, you know, I'm a little bit snappy, they don't understand mm. that I might be going through something. Yeah. Mm. It's, you're rude, you've got an attitude yeah. problem because yeah. I'm not, I, don't, I, I find it really difficult to, you know, speak out and say I'm having like low days. Yeah. So that's amazing that you've got, mm. you're able to I like... I like a big part aware. of this, I've got big mouth as well. Mm. <laughs> we always like that though. Yeah, I've always been like that. I think now, um, what probably the biggest investment I've made in myself is creating the safety in my life mm. and a, a validity that only I can give myself and it doesn't come from outside of me, it comes from inside of me, but that has come from being in therapy every single week for the last year and a half. Mm. Mm. I but wouldn't have achieved that, I don't think. <laughs> that's wow. the thing with, that's yeah. that's the that thing with therapy though. I feel like, you know, you do your six, six sessions and then you're left after like 12 weeks, well, this I is feel like you, yeah, th there's you're no too reliant on therapy. No, like not at all. No, mm. absolutely not. The, the, the biggest misconception is that therapy is a six week thing that the NHS give out and that's it, six weeks and you're done. It's the biggest misconception. It's awful that women do not have the correct access to therapy because of finances. Mm -hmm. I pay for pr private therapy. It's mm. not cheap. Mm. So but don't you think you're dependent on well. therapy now, no, though? No, this, but it's not a dependency. But you've been doing it for a year and a half. Yeah, no, and only now I'm making progress. So it's not a dependency. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's about me, how I understand my own emotions, giving a language to my emotions and understanding what it is that I'm feeling, trying to work through past trauma. There's nothing about therapy that's dependent. You know when you come to the end of your mm -hmm. journey in therapy. Mm -hmm. I'm not at the end of my journey in therapy. Mm -hmm. I'm only at the point after a year and a half where I'm like, I'm making progress. And you know what, mm. it's important to just let it out because mm. as you said, you yeah. like to hold it in. I'm that type of person too, mm. I'll just try and hold it together. Mm. But I feel like we all try to hold it in. I feel like we're all trying to hold our tears back like oh, as we speak. I mean, yeah. holding right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But it just in terms of like the mum burnout that we all have, yeah. Yeah. So it familiar. leads us to certain, to certain spaces yeah. where it just, just collapse. So mm. for you, obviously, the depression episode, me like currently my fucking neck is yeah. swollen. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it's just too much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it happens because your body's going to tell you. Your it's body, gonna, yeah. your body wants to tell you. Yeah, because yeah. 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 that energy will build up and it needs yeah. a release. Absolutely. Yeah. But I think it's also about like for me, it's just understanding myself. Like I realise I have a pattern. So like before that time of the month, it's just like I'm a bit low. Right. So do you know what I mean? So I realise I'm like super productive at that point. So there's a lot of self care, whether it be like going to the gym, doing this, and then there's a point where you dip. I dip. Mm. And it's understanding me and my own kind of like cycle and just 
relaxing with that because I think when I try and fight that, mm. that's totally. when it's like... I'll oh. tell you what, as a woman, naturally, because I've studied this, yeah. um, during our cycle a month, we're not supposed to do anything. We're supposed oh. to do bare minimum. I'm so really? glad I know that now. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 we're not doing time in a month. Yes, we're not, our body, it's a lot of energy it takes our body to do yeah. the monthly yeah. cycle. Yeah. So during that time, that's the time we're supposed to actually be engaging in self-care the most. Okay. So all our regular duties where we're on go, 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 we're, those, that's the time we're where we're down. literally supposed to ah, slow down yeah. and then nurture ourselves. To be fair, during that time, we shouldn't be going, we shouldn't be going to work. We yeah. should be working from home. We should be doing the bare minimum around the house. We should be having hot meals. We should be having, taking baths and we should be literally indulging in self-care. Oh my God, I tell you, Even though I'd, I should practice it and I don't, yeah. but start doing it. If when you guys yeah. can, and you will notice the difference. Okay. Literally, yeah. 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 Not having that yeah. resistance yeah. like before, because I would try and wow. fight it. Yeah. It's like yeah. this battle and that would make it worse. But now it's just like, you know, it's like, I'm tired. You know, it's on your relaxing. cycle, like, you, yeah. like when your cycle's coming, you're just at home watching TV and you're just not, you're just knock out. Yeah. Because yeah. your body's literally screaming. Oh my God. Anything triggers you as well. Yeah. But honestly, the last few months with my cycle has been horrific. The fact that I thought like I was going through depression yeah. and then when my like period comes yeah. just like, oh it's my period and then you know yeah. it's just like, oh, oh my that's god, god. Yeah. 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 that's why yeah. and then you're like oh my god I'm so depressed yeah. and then you're depressed yeah. about yeah. being yeah. depressed yeah. 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 you know what I mean and then when it comes it's, it's just like oh okay yeah, that's what it was. yeah cause yeah. you're just you're just like keeping yeah. it moving yeah. up until the point and then you just have like a nervous breakdown just to hear this out loud it's like oh my god well, I'm going to tell my director from today, like, <laughs> <laughs> given my cycle yeah. calendar. Yeah. We should, they should actually you know be okay. I have taken a few days off oh, that we should because of that reason. Oh. Not that reason, yeah. I didn't know yeah. about that, yeah. but just because of pain. Yeah. And the fact that they will even question it, this was uh, some years ago, yeah. but they questioned, you know, I did say, I, was, I said, look, I'm going through really bad um, period Your pains. Pain. Yeah. Um, I need to take today off, and it's always the first or second day. And they were just a bit like, oh, um, that's, not, that's not really a reason. There's, me there's more women in the workplace, so why should I single you out? I get it so severe, I Ooh. sometimes yeah. cannot yeah. get out yeah. of bed. Yeah. It's, it's that bad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just, it just makes me think. What you just said, I'm just like a light bulb moment. Yeah. But yeah. also, we should yeah. be educating men. Uh, yeah, on that as well. Yeah. Women, oh, work yeah. Yeah. Right places to, yeah. to nurture us when we're in that position yeah. where we just want to yeah. be able to just have. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think, imagine going to your manager and saying, like, I need the time, like, a couple of days off. Oh, it's no, not a reason this. for them. Mm. It's um, not you, a reason. you would look yeah. so pathetic. Yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? You have to like really exaggerate it or something. Yeah, so, and that's how I felt. Yeah. That's exactly how I felt. Yeah, exactly. Like I had to be on the phone and just be like, oh, oh. Yeah, I can't <laughs> move. I literally can't but move. But literally, I'm in a state where it's, it's almost as bad as... Um, Contractions. That's mm. what it is. Yeah. Right. They, yeah. A man right. will never know. And then you imagine your mental health as well and yeah. your mood yeah. Yeah. as well yeah. as yeah. like yeah. your telling me pains. So do you guys think that we are able to invest in ourselves more than our parents were, like our yeah. moms were? 100 percent Yeah. Definitely. We're more aware about it now. Yeah. I don't think they were Definitely. aware about yeah. it. Yeah. I, Cause I think I take a lot of time for myself, like whether it be, like I say, sports, so I play netball, I go to the gym in the morning. You know, like you said, wow. I still want more time. Like, yeah. I need more time. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, it feels like the day just runs away. It's like, do the school drop off? Then you've got work. There's a million and one things that you need to do, but it's like, I do, I go out, I socialize. Mm. I have a lot of time. So you do things you want to do for you. I do things you. I want to mm. do for me. Yeah. Even though there's more that I want to do. But yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, but have you, have you seen your more. parents do that when you were growing up? No. So my mum, now and then, but not like, not like me. She, actually, she did play netball and we'd come along. And do you know what it is? I've got more of a support system. So my mum, like, oh, bless her. Oh. Yeah, like, <laughs> Big up she... The, yeah, if I, if I didn't have my mum, then I don't think I would have had... Or I had a support system, then I wouldn't be able to invest in myself yeah. as yeah. much. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I'm grateful for, for that. I'm grateful for their dad, but... My mum and my dad and my sisters, like my yeah. mum's house. Yeah. That's the place I can just, that's like where they are now. When I'm there, 
That's your kids. Yeah, your Take kids. my kids, they're your kids. Yeah, so even going to my mum's house, that's like me investing myself. Like I'm a baby girl again. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's soft life. Soft, soft life. life. <laughs> soft life. <laughs> soft life. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Like, we're, I like, it was funny we touch on the soft life thing, because sometimes I do think, as much as I love, I have this toxic hyper-independence that I'm really working on at the moment, mm. because I understand that actually that's a lot more emotionally and mentally detrimental to me than it is like, I've got this, so I'm an independent woman, I'm going to do it all on my own, because mm -hmm. I've done that most of my life. And I never realised, actually, I don't want to do it all on my own. Yeah. I don't want to do it all on my own. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 want, I want the help. And whether yeah. it's from friends or a partner or family, oh. yeah, I need the help. Yeah. I don't want to suffer no more. Oh, yeah. Right. Soft life. Yeah. 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 Soft life. Yeah. 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 See, yeah. from my mum, I'd never seen her take care of herself. And if she does a little bit, even if she's socialising with her, mm. her friends, it would be like taboo. She even feels bad about it. Mm. Yeah. You know, it's just like, well, you know, no, I'm doing it for my friends. It's not. Mm. I was just like, but mum, you want to like mingle with your friends for you as yeah. well? Yeah. No, no, no. She's dedicated her whole life to her family, to her, my dad, and that's it. And Which then is I'm, nice. But, but that's old fashioned. But that's I mean, so old fashioned. But she's so battered. Like yeah, she, yeah, that's she's what I so mean. drained. Yeah. And, like, life is like literally have been you, sucked have you out ever of her. Have taken her out anywhere? That's like maybe like a spa thing. And see how she, she is. How she acts. Or, she feels yeah. so bad. So like when we go out, it would be to Tesco's or you know yeah. what I mean. And that's her she day can't out. Be present. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. can't. She's got. I've, to do I'm, I'm exactly errands. the same. Like that's such a good question. My mum. I never witnessed my mum's self care ever. My mum didn't invest in nothing but. The kids, kids yeah. my brothers and my dad, the family, mm. that was it. She never did anything outside of us. And like you say, like if I do take my mum out for a meal or whatever, she spends the whole time feeling guilty. Yeah, yeah. 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 She can't be mom. present yeah. because no. she doesn't know how to. Oh. How yeah. much this costs? Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. My mum's yeah. outside. Well, <laughs> yeah. she, she has more of a social life than me. Maybe yeah. back in the day she didn't, but now she's like, oh, I'm going out. Because yeah, oh, you guys wait. are big now. Yeah. she would be like, oh, what are you guys doing? And it's like, yeah. Oh. You want to come with friends? And I use my, like, not, I don't use my children the same way, but I do. It's like, oh, let's go and eat. I do that with friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. I don't need. I don't, well, I do need yeah. friends. I need friends. But I mean, yeah. like, if I want to do something, I've got the children yeah. to do it. Yeah. So it's like, oh, yeah. I'm mean, exactly yeah. the same. Yeah. Yeah. Same with Bella because I want to be that role model. Like, yeah. I want her to grow up. Yes. I don't want ever want her to carry any type of guilt that we do as women because it's all imposed by society. Mm -hmm. Actually. Do I, I'm going to be completely honest, do I feel guilty when I'm away from my child? No, yeah. don't. Me, me. I don't, I, I love don't. it. I don't. As in, that was a journey for you or that was... I've never felt guilty. Yeah, okay. I'm the same. Never, never, never I guilty. mean, I have right at the beginning just yeah, because... Same. Yeah, I just had that. It took that. me a while to get over oh, that. Yeah, 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 yeah same. After, especially Even, after maternity leave yeah. and going back to yeah. work. But then I, thought, I say that, but then I went Amsterdam with full milk in my breast. <laughs> Yeah, what, that was like a three months. So... <laughs> Short-lived deal. Short-lived deal. <laughs> so, hey, welcome to soft life. <laughs> welcome to soft life. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. uh, but then the you don't laugh, is, you cry. I remember, right, it's funny you mention that, because I remember um, Bella was about six weeks old mm -hmm. and I went to, just to stay with my friend for the weekend, and my mum was horrified she was mm. like how can you leave your newborn at home mm. like you're going out clubbing and drinking she's only six weeks old oh my god what an awful mum and i was living my best life <laughs> <laughs> like, cool, boo. this is why you feel guilty every time you go out <laughs> yeah. I, don't. Yeah. I have we all have a right to enjoy our, enjoy yes. our lives yes. and invest in ourselves away from our children and that has nothing to do with our motherhood or it doesn't mean that we don't love our kids. Oh, no, yeah. I, I feel yeah, like there's 100%. this need to constantly justify how much we love our kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've yeah. kind yeah. of balanced the argument, like we just don't deserve to do that for ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But see, right. I, I, I have that look at my mum's face. Like when I see her and she sees me like if I'm like wearing something new or she sees that I take care of myself, she gives me this strange look like, how and why? Yeah. Like, you know, you should be taking care of your child. Your mm. your child should be your life. And mm. I'm like, how are you thinking like that? Yeah. It's just, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, just. The thing is, is your child is always going to be your life, of right? Course. Your child is not going to suffer. But it doesn't but if you mean you. It doesn't mean your child. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, mean it doesn't mean you have to neglect yourself yeah. to look yeah. to be a good parent. Absolutely. You know. And I would agree with her if you was 
out every day, yeah, yeah. Exactly. seven days of the week, mm. and your child wasn't fed and neglect. malnourished. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's and you know, there was neglect there. Then, okay, then we can kind of start worrying yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. But I don't have a social life. I only put a little bit of contour, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's all I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and it's literally that. Yeah. So, we're like, me and my mum were like completely, completely opposite, opposite yeah. people. Yeah. yeah. But I think that's a good thing with like social media. I'll say that's, you get to see how other people care for themselves. And not in a way where you're comparing, but it's like, oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, I can really implement that. And that's like, attractive. You know that it's an yeah. option. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And I think. That's the good part of seeing others' lives. Not to the point where you're comparing and being like, oh, my life's so blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But in a way where, oh, OK. I could use that. I could use that. Yeah. So it's like a healthy, healthy yeah. comparison. Yeah, a healthy yes. comparison. Yeah. Where it's like, yeah. yeah. And we need more of that. We need because, more of that. And they yeah. probably, they didn't. I think, like, now, it's like a whole movement. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 At that time, it was, a, it's, it was a different. It was a different time. Mm. Different and this, this is what I think. I literally just think it's an old-fashioned thing. Yeah. 100%. I feel like when I'm really deeping it, I feel like I've invested in myself by detaching from what my parents think. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Wow. So that's a way of me investing in myself. Yes. Oh, my God, I feel great. <laughs> I love it. Wow. It's like when you really do it. The stress. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and in terms of, uh, just going back to the question, so in terms of like investing time and energy into things, yeah. are there things that you guys are not investing your time into and energy into now than you was maybe oh, a couple like years ago? <laughs> drama. Oh, yeah. Cancelled. Yeah. Any kind of toxic cycle that yeah. I would have been in even yeah. this time last year when mm. we filmed. Yeah. 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 I ain't got time for it now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Same, 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 same. Well, I think I'm yeah. where you are last yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> life is beautiful because nothing is permanent yeah. and you get yeah. to make your yeah. own yeah. rules. Yeah. 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 Literally. That's it, none yeah. of it is permanent. Like when I think back to just all this toxicity that I've had in my life, right? And it, it took for me to go to this amount of therapy. And as mm. I said, I'm not even anywhere near at the end for me to realize like, if I don't take myself out of it and work yeah. on myself and my yeah. own needs and validate myself, yeah. Yeah. That's never going to stop. I'm mm, always so going to be true. in those cycles all so the time. So true, so true. Like, I, you know, it's, it's all about training your brain as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. I used to, you know, hold on to things and it could be for two weeks. Yeah. I could be angry and, like, so annoyed at the world for two weeks. I'll give myself ten minutes. Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then it could be wow. half yeah. an hour and then that's it. And what do you it's do? just... Release it. Release. It. And then I'm only... And I tell myself, I'm only going to be pissed off for ten minutes. Yeah. And that's it. And it's that's like, really literally... Oh, that's amazing self-control. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Yeah. 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 That's, that's great. Yeah. It's refreshing that's great. to hear, actually. It, it is. Yeah. It, and and it's, it's just a game-changer because it's just like nothing really phases you. Like, you know... I don't know. It's just... Does it work with kids? <laughs> you know what? I, with Zaid, but I wouldn't melt now. Like honestly, I used yeah. to get like. No, I'm, I'm generally asking because like Leo is really he stresses me to the max. He's mm. an amazing kid, but I've tried it. Mm. But maybe it's just the amount, how long you've done it. You've probably doing it, done it for. Well, a do long you know time, what? This right? time last year, no. I used to really it used to re I get stuff used to really get to me, mm. and it would be the smallest thing. And I'd feel like it's the end of the world, okay. you know? So, and I've implemented that in work life, in home life, in family. Mm. Oh my God, family. <laughs> oh, I don't know, <laughs> die. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. just, you just feel like so free. It's just like, oh, okay. You know, mm. you know what I mean? I've been... People hate to see that. Oh, yeah. they, don't, they don't want to see you. Oh, do you don't that. want to they sit separate. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 How dare you not be miserable? Yeah. 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 I'm pissed off with you, and doesn't it affect you? Yeah. <laughs> Are you oh, serious? Yeah. yeah, you know, it's just giving that person too much control, mm. and they have, and I, don't, I feel like they enjoy the yeah. control, and it's just like. They've got that much power over you. Mm. Imagine. And you're the one that's suffering. Yeah. yeah. See, so going back to that, see, I like a lot of like online content, like videos that kind of help with that stuff. Because, like mm. you said, you, you don't grow up learning this. Your parents don't discuss certain things mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. But, like I say, we grew up in a generation where information's out there yeah. and we're able to. So, like, mm. I've got YouTube mentors and. Yeah. Instagram friends that they yeah. don't even know that I exist. <laughs> 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 Love that. They're your friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm invested. And um, I think self care, like even me, um, 
in the mornings, maybe daily affirmations, sometimes yes. just morning mo yes. motivation, yes. Yes. moving my body, yes. just mm. yes. certain yes. things. I think yes. this is important and just... Yeah, taking that time for myself. Oh, I need to go back to affirmations. Yeah, yeah. I used to Sorry, do that no, every I'm morning. Yeah. Yeah. I literally just started this week. I started in the mornings, 15 minute morning meditation. Yeah. Mm. And even if I don't get out of the bed, I'll literally just put it on on the TV, TV yeah. and just listen to it and just zone out before I actually fully wake up now. And that seems to kind of help me yeah. set the tone for the day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and trust me, it does a lot. When yeah, you when me. you look, if, if you try it in front of a mirror yeah. and yeah. you see yourself, I yeah. think the first two times I cried, because yeah. I was just like, wow. it, it was almost weird to see myself say, say how worthy I am and yeah. how yeah. enough. Yeah. Because wow. for such a long time, I'm going to start bawling in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> but if it was such a long time, I didn't see my work. I didn't understand mm. myself. Um, mm. I was so focused on work that mm. I actually just forgot about me. Mm. And mm. so focused on the kids. So mm. seeing yourself say, I am enough, I am worthy, yeah. Yeah. I'm everything. Yeah. It's yeah. so powerful. It's, you can do yeah. so much for you. Yeah. So I envy much. you a lot. Because, yeah. And this is, again, how I know I'm not at the end of therapy because I can't stay present enough to do any of that. I can't meditate, okay. I can't okay. sit in front of okay. a rub because I just... Yeah, that's me. My brain is... <laughs> too much. I, can't, yeah, I don't have that power Dedicate yet. love songs to yourself. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I've told you not about this. Oh, Literally, you know, you always think about someone like singing it to yeah. you. Like, yeah. when you do it and you yeah. dedicate it to yourself, yeah. it's like so pa powerful. Like you said, yeah. like, yeah. you cry So like, powerful. You're amazing. I'm never <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I, mean, I love that. I, love I just that. feel like I don't see like myself like that. that. So, like, for me, like, gospel music is maybe something that would center yeah. me. Okay, so, yeah. yeah, that might be me balling, but it, it's, it's, it's a self-help in terms of, yeah. yeah, it just centers me. In. Exactly. I guess it's, a, it's time for investment as well. Mm. For me as well. But to go back to the question, guys. Um, so, do we invest in ourselves enough? And I feel like we are getting there. It's yeah. a yeah. process. Yeah. It's yeah. a journey. We've he le heard a lot of refreshing points. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I definitely feel like it's a journey that we need to continue on yeah. um, and inspire others to do the same. And I think 100%. I definitely invest in myself more than I thought after. Yeah, 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 yeah. And okay. like Lay said, more money. More, yeah. 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 more money, more money, more time. Yeah. Yeah. More money, more time. Yeah. More soft life. Yeah. 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 More soft the life. money will give us the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching episode two. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. <laughs>